Right, I'm out in Lincoln. Uh, we've pulled over and we've come to see Mount of Lincoln as well. You probably recognise his YouTube channel. He does lots of tinkering about. We come to look at the list of D and he's also got this old lamp which he's uh, passed on to me and we're going to do a restoration job. So right, Mal, talk us through what you've got in here. Right, well, it's a list of D. It's 1951. This today, and there was um, about 250,000 sold, and so popular. You'll see them every show you go to. Look at the engine things, and you'll see them. Who would have had? Who would have used one of these then? Oh, everybody. Right. On so farms, rural. Yeah. Rural stuff. Um, right. Dairies, farms, everything like that. If, at, uh, at harvest time. Yeah. Um, you'd find one of these driving the elevator, yeah. taking the sheaves up to the. They're called drums. The dr the dr the drones. Drum, drum. Yeah, right. because because of the noise they made, the thrashing drum. Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. See, yeah. Again, you can pick these up pretty reasonably, I think. You can. Yeah. Well, I got that for 140, but Dan brought me it, so I gave him 30 quid extra. You see, so they're not very expensive. So looking at it, it's actually smaller than what I think. Actually, Matt, I thought it was mm -hmm. a big, like a big tall thing. No. I've seen other ones which are big tall things. They yeah. obviously do these in different sizes, do they? No, not the not the D's. They're all the same size. Oh, are they? Yeah. That's a lot smaller actually than what I thought to be honest with you. And it. what's interesting about this, if you look can look round the back yeah. at the magneto. Oh right, yeah, okay. Right, the magneto on this is the wrong way round. Right. And the reason for that is some of these were made to go in the reverse direction. Yes. Right. So what way does this rotate? Well, this goes that way round. And, uh, clockwise. Clockwise. Yeah. Yeah. But some went the other way round, right. and sometime in the past, when this was being used, someone must have had a problem with the magneto. Yeah. And they've got one off a reverse engine and put it on the wrong way oh, round. Oh right. Okay. So that, it, that, you know, that would have been the other way round. So it's yeah. put, that's interesting, isn't it? So your main pull is there. Yeah. You crank it from the other side. Yeah. And you obviously crank it back. Hold on, what way that, do you crank it? That way, yeah. Right, the same way as the engine cranks, yeah. that's right, yeah. And then once that starts motoring, yeah. you can put a, there's a, what's that, a little pulley at the end there, yeah. You can put a belt on there. Yeah, I've got a, a se like? seat, seat belt. belt on it. Yeah, for a belt. Oh, I see, you made that yourself, did you? Yeah, and I put that on there, you see. Yeah, you roll it out. And, and you've got your workmate here, which is just sitting yeah, there at the I've moment. Got saw here, but and this is something you've actually made on your channel as well, yeah. isn't it? It's tips. a little table saw, isn't it, basically? Yeah, it is. So, so looking back, so that would be... Just to show it, yeah. just to show it with a belt coming out yeah. the shed, you see. So um, I thought it'd just be... Let's say, for example, that was spinning one way, right? Yeah. Am I right or am I wrong that if you fold that belt yeah, over... Yeah, if you turn it, it over, it goes the other way. You'll spin it the other way. So yeah. if, even if That's you've got it. one that goes the wrong way... Yeah, you just, can just, just flip the belt, flip the belt over, over. Put that on the, on, on the, uh, the blade, and the blade would then rotate yeah. the other way, wouldn't it? The only thing that uh, you used to do with these, it's all right with this, I can start it with this connected up. Yeah. But if you've got some, an engine without it, with a proper belt on, yeah. you actually have to start the engine up yeah. and then put the belt on with it running. Yeah. <laughs> with your hand, yeah. so you have to mind not to lose your hand, like, you now, know. This is the muffler, obviously. Yeah, um, that's what I made. You made one yourself, didn't you? I made you, that one. I don't think you can probably buy these anymore, can you? Oh yes, you can. can. You? Yeah. They're but you, you being Mount of Lincoln, you made your own. Yeah, I made that one. So anyone could come up to this now. There's no ignition system with it where you've got a key or anything. No. So you turn the fuel on, you tick all the carb, I take it, will yeah, you? Yeah, that's it. Crank it and it would start. Yeah, it will. That's it. Are we gonna see it start, Malk? Yeah, you've got to start it in a minute. Right, so how would we actually start this, Malk? Right. What you do, that's a mixer. Yep. Not a carburetor. And right. that should have a little tip thing on there yeah which I've taken off okay well it broke off what does that do rotate on. or something or what, what right it's a mixer it's a needle valve oh right, this okay. is the mixer yep. not a carburetor right and that was made by Lister yeah and they used an Amel float bowl on it oh that is a float bowl I recognize yeah. Amel the name on that yeah, yeah. Um, and what did you do with a flywheel I've seen you mess about with the flywheel right, before well, you started because it's a big heavy flywheel and yep. it turns over quite easily, yep. turn it backwards right. until you hit compression stroke. Right. And so then you can reverse, right, then okay. you can give it a sharp wind like right, okay. and it'll it'll start up. Now what you do to choke it, 
you hold your thing, hold that down. Right. But sometimes that's like your choke. Right. You see. But what you want to do is leave that alone to start with because right. it depends how if it's a hot or cold day, you yeah. can actually flood it and then it's Oh right, okay. And then it uh, takes another wind or two to start. Yeah. So you want to and the other thing to show you, we'll have to come out to show you. Never hold a starting handle like that. Right. Because if it kicks back it'll break your thumb. Right. So you hold it like that. Oh, I see, that's a good, that's a good bit of uh, yeah. knowledge there. So so don't wrap your hand around the handle, lay it on top of it sort of thing. That's it, yeah. yeah. And just a brisk wind and it should start straight away. So the, the handle wouldn't spin, would it, if you let go of the handle? When it starts to kick, what what do you do with the handle? Well, you just take it out when it starts. Oh, right. It won't carry on spinning round, for example. No, it's got... So it's got a clutch in it or something. Or yeah, look. A release once it over, gets there up are. to speed. There you are, can you see? Oh, right, yeah. It's, it's uh, geared, isn't it? Yeah, it pushes like, it out. So yeah, that's like, like, got dogs. It's like a worm, isn't it? Or yeah. Dog, yeah, yeah. So, so it'll push it out yeah. of gear All when right. it starts. All right, we'll whack some juice in it then and we'll, we'll try and hear it running. Yeah. Wind it backwards. Right, so it's back that way. Yeah. So you feel a bit of resistance like that's there. That's it. Right, which I have just there got now. That's all right there. Yep. And then tickle the carburetor a few times. Just like a little tickle, right yep. on the ammo, that's yep. it. Pumping a bit of fuel into it. There you are. And then just get the handle. Get the handle. Put it in there. That worms on. Then it. what way am I going? This way, innit? Yeah, that way. Right, right. now you want to stand up. Right. And put your hand on top of the engine because okay. it stops it cocking over, it's not bolted down. Right, see. okay. So try it, yep. and if it doesn't start straight away, stick your finger right. on there. Go on, stick your finger on there. That's it, wait. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Well, that was easy. If you stuck your finger on there, it'd be gone first well, Straight away, yeah. Well, it's not quite, isn't it? It's quite yeah. what I thought. Now, because it's eight stroking, you now have to alter the, this. Goes in the mixture. Right, and what, what, what's the effect that's doing for us? Well, it's. We're not the speed. Making it wrong properly. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, hello. Yeah, it is. So you're trimming it up basically? Yeah. God, that started so easy, didn't it? Yeah. It's running properly now, you see. Yeah. Look at that, and how many brake horse powers is about? One and a half horsepower at 700 revs. Right. We're not running at 700, that's about 500 I think. I should have, oh. I haven't got a bit Rev of tape on to yeah. show you. I've got me all yeah. of these. Yeah. Oh. That's about its running speed. Yeah. And now we'll just turn it off. How do you stop it? Yeah. Right, you turn the mixer all the way around. What, to choke it? To stop. And it cooks the fuel off. Oh, oh right, okay. Or you can turn the petrol tap off yeah, and let it, it run out run petrol. Out, yeah, yeah. Which is, with modern petrol is actually a good idea if you're not going to be using it very much because yeah. it will mean that um, the float chamber is empty. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a station region. Used to be. Uh, used a lot in the early part of the century I think you'll find but now we've got multiple drills and battery operated things people just showing now people like you probably still could use it as I say Mount's made a few things up for it like this the table saw and a few other little things as well but uh yeah he's gonna show us a couple of other little things he's made as well what you got here Milk? well my building friend made me a badge oh this one yeah, yeah yeah that's right. nice isn't it yeah Look at that, look. Can you see it? Yeah, it's perfect, Mel. There you are. And another chap bought one of these in Melton Mowbray. Yeah. And he's done me that plate. Yeah. Is that the, oh, the engine number, yeah. Yeah, and it's got my engine number. It's a spec 28, one yeah. and a half horsepower at seven revs. Nice little display piece. And, it? and there is a lady that you can email that uh, gives you, will send you who bought it originally. And oh, they've got all that information. Yeah, they, they, they've got yeah. everything about them. Yeah. The other interesting thing that's nice, I've got another friend, and he sent me that nice list of spanner to put on my board. Oh, it's a list of spanners, that is yeah. it? Yeah, look, it says lift on Slightly offset as well, that's a strange one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. so nice. nice, isn't it? Nice little presentation piece. Yeah. If someone was ever going to buy this, and you, you show that, couldn't you? Yeah, 
Yeah. Really? Well, I mean, most people, they have, they're taken to shows and things. You yeah. See? That's what they do with them. Yeah. You'd think you're about to make things for it, don't you? Well, yeah. Just uh, I've had loads of fun things. You have to have a look. Right, what's this over here, Malk? What? What is this here? That lamp? Yeah. Tell me about this now, because right. you've got it for me to restore, haven't you? Yeah. What see. is it for? What is it from? Do you know? Or is it? Well, it's a lantern, I think. Yeah. I wonder what it had in there. Maybe a can candle, maybe? Yeah. Or? I think there was a lamp in it. I'm not yeah. sure. It's a lantern. Yeah. And it was pretty bad. I've got the hinges working. Yeah. And I chose to do this one because um, the glass was better than the other one. Right. And you've got the glass inside. You show me that. Yeah. yeah. So, but I ran into a problem, and that is that. Uh, I don't, this has been repainted with some paint yeah. that is stronger than concrete. Yeah, well you it, was using, you showed me this earlier on, this stuff. I tried to and do it with that. This, I found this out not so long back now, this is oh. nowhere near as good as it used to be Let back in the 70s. Useless stuff. EU controlled now apparently. Useless stuff. So then, <laughs> I've recently cleaned this up. Yes, I've seen that. It's yeah. on your channel isn't it, people can go and have a look at that. Yeah. There's a nice little playlist of, of this one. Yeah. And uh, so, just for entertainment, I thought, well, I'll do it with this. And this wasn't hot enough to do it. Oh, right. <laughs> right, yeah. so that didn't work. Yeah. So, I've got some uh, brake fluid, which normally fetches anything off. Yeah. And it did soften it enough yeah. to, to fetch little bits off. Yeah. But it was going to take yeah, so long. See, yeah, and I, there, I'm not good enough to do it. Yeah. So. Well, I've got a tool for that called the sandblaster. You've got the sandblaster. So that's the tool to do it with. Right, well, we'll have a go at that anyway. So I'll have a go at uh, doing it on my channel, Milk. This will look very good hung up in your garden with a nice plant in it. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. Well, we'll have a go at it, Milk, anyway. So I don't know, yeah. it might be the next video, it might be the one after that well, on Retro Hacks. Don't matter. We'll have a look and we'll see what we can do with it. Don't matter. Anyway, so we've seen the list of D now. It yeah. was a list of D, wasn't yeah. it? And we've seen Malk again. If you want to check out Malk's channel, I'll leave a link in the description below. So Cheers, uh, mate. do have a look, and uh, we'll probably see him again at another time. Yeah. See you later, folks. Just thought we'd come out in the drive. We've got all these blackberry bushes along here. Sharon's picking some blackberries for our apple. Oh, is it apple and what? Blackberry. Blackberry. Would apple. You <laughs> apple and blackberry <laughs> crumble. She's doing it for our Sunday lunch. Look at all these. These haven't been here for long, baby, have they? Couple of years? <laughs> no, a couple of years. Yeah. And last year we didn't pick any, did we? Yes, we did. Oh, you might have done, I didn't. Well, you never do. Yes, yeah, I do. You picked any this year? No. There you go then. How many have you got so far? Let's have a look. Hey, look. There's absolutely tons of them on here. Be a shame to waste them, wouldn't it? You buy them in a supermarket, what's they going to cost you? A pound a punnet, something like that? Something like that, I don't know. You've got a punnet there already, Sharon. That's a pound. And we've got literally all the way along there, and they've come out of nowhere. Lovely. All grown naturally. These literally rambled. Look, look, look all along that fence line there. Look, all the way along there. All the way along that fence. All the way along to where Sharon is over there. Look. Absolutely ma masses of them. I don't really know what to do today. I Check. do. What? Do a post. Yeah, I'll probably put a post in. You ain't going to see that because I've done one last uh, couple of videos ago. So you ain't got to do that. Um, been down a car boot sale this morning. Had a look in there. There was nothing there, was there, Sharon? No. Nope. Like them all tat. There was one thing I was going to buy, but it was a little kiddish wheelbarrow, which I could have bought, but uh, I want paying ten pound for it. You see, I will never pay what they ask, they because these car boot, awesome. these car booters now, they sort of started to believe the cost of things, and they're pushing them up and up. So I, I said I'll give you a five or four. It wasn't interested, so I just walked away. But we have got to be careful, shall not we? What's happening now? Coming to the end of the car boot season, That's and I'm true. struggling for things to restore. So I have to do all my searching on. Facebook. Yeah? Look at them, baby, look. I might even make some jam for my grandchildren today. Yeah, but we don't eat jam. What did I just say? Make it for your grandchildren. Thank you. You do that, baby. See you in a minute. Alright. Hmm. <laughs>